On Thursday, December 28, Chad's Supreme Court announced the final results of the referendum held on December 16th and 17th. More than 8 million Chadians were called upon to vote on the draft constitution, which would allow a return to constitutional order through elections. Although the organizing committee had already announced provisional results, these were narrowly confirmed by the Supreme Court, the Yes side, won with 85.90% of the vote, against 14.10% for the No side. The President of the Supreme Court, Sami Adam Anu, announced the final results in the presence of members of the government, the parliament and diplomats. The announcement also came after appeals by political parties, such as RUNDT, Le Réveil, had been rejected. Chadians now have a fundamental law that maintains the form of a decentralized unitary state with a victory for the Yes coalition led by Interim Prime Minister Saleh Kebzabu. Supporters of a federalism had called for a no vote. They argued that only a federal state could help Chad emerge from underdevelopment, pointing to the success of this model in other countries such as Nigeria and Germany. Other groups calling for a boycott, led by the coalition of the group de concertation des acteurs politiques, the Front de l'Opposition Crédible and former Prime Minister Pahimi Padake Albert insist that the process was biased. They called for the cancellation of the results, but the Supreme Court, however, refused to do so.